Three seconds left. Gates in. Takes a shot. Scores! With point five seconds. And Reed short-handed. He's been known to do this too. Goes between his legs. Beats everybody around the goal. Tender, he scores! Are you kidding me, Connor Reed? Up the head as Savino with a nice move around. Takes a shot. Four down. Scores! All by himself, Zach Gusslin scores! Holy moly, Zach Gusslin, what a goal! I'd like to be able to do that now. <laughs> I know. Against squirts. I'd, <laughs> against anyone. I'd take it against mites. Here's a shot, up top, scores! A snipe by Max Baker. Puck chipped around the boards here. Be held in by San Francisco. Nice pass into the slot. Tran pulls up for a shot pass at the side of the net and it's deflected in. One more shot and that's blocked. It'll leave the zone and that's gonna do it. The San Francisco Sabercats are the Squirt B champions. Now, how did you get so good at being a goalie so quick at this level? I played goalie and it took me uh, about 25 years to be anywhere remotely as, as, as a performance that you put on today, here out here today. So how did you get so good so quick? Do you just practice more than everybody else? I practice most practices. We have three practices a week. I use one of them as player and the rest are goalie. Certainly keeping the momentum going and they look for the equalizer. Stefan over the line. In the high slot, makes a wrister and he scores. What a shot by James Stefan as he just goes top shelf. Three, maybe a four on two. Minahan over the line, centering pass. Shot off the post, back into the middle and covered by Kavinsky as he had to make. I'm just trying to clear the danger, maybe one opportunity for the Golden Bears, backhanded towards Juan Rui, but off to the side, and the whistle will sound, and that is it. The Los Angeles Junior Kings, champions of the Caja Peewee A Division. Halliday clearing it up the right side. Halliday charging in, feeds it over to the far side for Kaplan. Kaplan shovels it on net. Lamberti stands up, and it ends up in the net. The rebound loose and charging to the goal. Halliday was there. Cleared up the right side. Now Bears could have a two on one and Easters, a three on one rather. Easterson feeds it far side. Godby gets it back. Delaire shoots, save. A huge one by Lamberti. He was hung out to dry. Up the right side. Carried ahead by Halliday. Halliday driving low, feeds it in front. They shoot, they score. That's three. Godby gets the goal. Halliday sets up another. What do you think? That's your call? Yeah. Uh, I think he throws his stick in the air. Well, that's obvious. Puck comes to the near side, up to the point. Seven seconds left. Moved down low by the Bears. Kings have it in the corner. Countdown starts for the Bears fans in the stands. There's the buzzer. And much to our surprise, sticks, gloves, hats, but no helmet comes off of the shutout goaltender, Kristoff. You, you owe me five me. bucks. You jinxed me. We didn't bet. Ah. <laughs> Sarazawa keeps it in. Backhand dish, and a centering feed, but gets broken up. Sarazawa picks it up again. Centering feed, shot, scores, Dilworth. He tries to get it on his backhand, but again, players are finding him first and trying to get that puck off his stick. Here's Lavalley. Lavalley on a breakaway, looking towards the net, shooting backhand, five hole, they score again. A dangerous Let's, uh, combination. That's what it takes sometimes. Look out here, winds up, shoots it, and what a blast! The Dragons have a 3-1 lead. Crazy action in front of his net. Centering feed, shot hits a skate. That puck drops right in that crease. It's a huge pileup coming out with it. The Sabercats, and they score. And on the bench, and a player falls, and that's going to do it. The San Francisco Sabercats, Pee B team, has won the state championship just as their squirt B team did moments before this and they crowd around Jensen and what a turn of events this is one crazy game in by Molden 
but then intercepted by Tri-Valley. Backhands it up to an open player who has a step. Backhand a chance on goal, it's the side of the net for Tri-Valley, and Bristow shoots and scores! The second opportunity goes around the other side and then put in the back of the net. Cycled beneath the goal line, full mark. He'll bring it out, look for a long outstretch pass, has Corliss wide open on a breakaway, goes for it, shoots and scores! Beat Oliviera over the left blocker, into the back of the net, 3-0, Tri-Valley at 3.57 in the first period. As it was heading towards the goal, Corliss, he'll slap that one in, and he scores! Shot it right over the right leg pad of Caleb Mead, into the back of the net, 5-0, Tri-Valley, see, effort. Hurts uh, combining with Bristow as well, and then you've got the, the goaltender who stepped in, Justin Morkin, who's had a lot more work to do. Even though he's started the game with a, a, a 5 nothing lead when he stepped in, he's still been busy and has only given up one. 18 seconds left before we're bringing you a post-game interview, and Morkin makes a slick glove save on that one with 16.5 left. He's bidding for that interview, Julian. 1.2 seconds. Getting the goal for the Heat, Maxwell Moon to end at one second, officially assisted by Steven Schlain, and the Tri-Valley Blue Devils will throw their gear aside and celebrate their Bantam A championship victory. Six to two, your final score. Doesn't every fucking win. I guess we're doing a full team interview, which is appropriate seeing is really, this is a great team effort on everybody's part. I want to talk, Mullet. Got to rock the hockey Kaner flow, flow. Important, he has the flow. important to winning this contest. Harder, nice outlet pass to the near side. They have to hold up to avoid offside. Ford drops that one, a nice pass across. Shot, rebound, saved and covered by the goalie, Carson Merson. To Vinton, Vinton back out to Barrett. Excuse me, Bland. And taking a piece of that one was Vinton. He's slow to get back up on the slap shot from Bland. Sticked aside by Murris, and Lou shoots and scores! Vinton took advantage of a miscue by the defense of the Blackhawks and put it in a wide open net with Murris and out of position. Wow, that makes the pain worth it. The only reason he's there is because he was so slow to get up. Eh? Wouldn't like him to say. Eh? 6.30 left in the third period. Blackhawks on the break. Kopich shoots that one off the blocker. Didn't know where it was. Rebound. It's in the back of the net. They score. Tie yep. it up. No at indication for the ref yet. Hold on. They're having a powwow. I saw the puck in the back of the goal. But they it might be. Now they point to the net. And it's tied up. How about that? it gently. Yeah. 50 saves later, and he's still improving his game. Exactly. Deck off the faceoff. Sends it. It scores. The game winner into the top shelf by Bryce Deck at 419 into the second overtime. And the OC Hockey Club win the Midget 16A championship. And that's where the Sharks found pay dirt last time was uh, the wraparound chances or having waiting for him, beating him to the post. Here's a great burst of speed by Bowman. He shoots and scores. What blazing speed. What oh. blaze. Such speed, John. <laughs> Jackson Bowman. Nice handoff. Good entry into the zone for Thompson. He cuts in, takes the shot, and scores! And you were right, Steiny. Pretty nice reaction from the crowd as well. And that's going to do it. The Santa Rosa Flyers are the 2014 Caja Phantom B champions. Your teammates, the captain of the uh, Caja State champion Flyers. Uh, came through big. You know, in the beginning of the season, we were kind of ragtag, but we brought it together. State champs. State champs, you heard it here, guys. Just impressive. Up high from the slot, they shoot and score. An absolute blast from Cal Franzi. And he rifles it 5-0 on folks to make it 1-0. Picked up again by Franzi with a really slick dangle. He walks in front, shoots and scores. What a beautiful goal. With 13 seconds left, Franzi just turns the entire LA Kings defense inside out. That could scare the Lightning. Blow the goal line. Comes in front and a perfect feed. Sets up Lee, hammers it home. Just one of the 
one of the most unnecessary I've ever seen. Certainly. However, you're right. I am surprised that uh, the Capitol Thunder, they didn't get a penalty. Not only that, they walk in, shoot, and score, and there's no denying it this time. Francie's got his third. Carried ahead by Moore. Moore backhands it in front, a shot, bouncing, saved, eventually dropping in front of Culligan. He's surprised to see it there. T crowd counting down to the Thunder victory. Kings clear it out, dumped ahead. Culligan will stick it aside one last time, and the Capital Thunder have themselves an excellent tournament. They only lose one point, taking a win in overtime, but they go undefeated and in convincing fashion. Congratulations, you celebrated as a team. Yeah. How long you guys been working for this, and how, how does it feel to finally win, or win a championship this year? Oh, I mean, all year, all work, you know, lines every day. It's great. Two years back to back, state champions. It's the best. Nice. Yeah. yeah, man, it's my first year, but it, it feels great. It's awesome. Congratulations, guys, on the 2013-14 Kaha State Champions.